Hunter Capital City watched tonight. Troubling numbers out of Springfield's shot spotter system. Police say they're finding high amounts of gunfire in small pockets of the city. Fox's Jordan Elder joins us with what some say could be the solution. Marcella, the city says one of the ways they'll try to reduce gunfire in those areas is simply add more light. Springfield's shot spotter system identifies where gunfire is happening around the city, and police say it made a startling discovery. Parts of Springfield are seeing high concentrations of shots fired. When you have that magnitude of gunfire happening, uh, we should walk the area, take a look at the surrounding uh, lighting, and try to mitigate those factors as much as possible using city services if we can do so. Mayor Jim Langfelder and Police Chief Kenny Winslow agree the first step in the city's action plan is light. Right now, you know, the immediate impact obviously is to turn the trees back and make sure that the lights are working. The city is hoping more light will mean less crime. They want to add new street lights and better the old ones in hopes of decreasing the shots fired. Is that a method that you've seen work previously for things like this? Yes, increased lighting, that kind of thing helps. Down the road, the city will use new technology in the street lights to help police with these investigations. We will be taking a look at the street lighting in these areas and uh, determine how we can put smart street lighting up. They can be come brighter if there's a call for service there. They can get dim when they're not needed. Winslow says the other half of the solution is education. Police have only gotten immediate calls from the community on 5.4% of shots fired. To be honest, we didn't think we'd be this low. Uh, I really thought we would have more. Sometimes they think somebody else is calling. Sometimes they don't believe their ears. They're not sure what it was. Springfield City Water Light and Power says it's currently working on upgrading street lights to LED bulbs, but when they get more funding from the city, they'll work on that smart street lighting technology. In Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder, Fox, Illinois. Thanks, Jordan. Springfield police say the shot spotter data is helpful, but it can't give the, them descriptions of the suspect or the situation, so they need people to call in still.